There's been another highway death, the 10th caused by a defective airbag made by the Japanese manufacturer Takata. So the federal government is adding another 5 million Takata-equipped vehicles to the 19 million already recalled. DeMarco Morgan has more on that. 52-year-old Joel Knight was driving this 2006 Ford Ranger when his car struck a cow that had wandered into the middle of the road. His airbag deployed. A piece of shrapnel flew out of it into his neck, killing him. Takata airbags are also blamed on nine other deaths, but this is the first one not in a Honda. Gordon Trowbridge, the spokesperson for the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. This is a massive safety crisis. Um, and it is a crisis that was precipitated by the fact that Takata manufactured millions of defective inflators uh, and then provided incomplete, misleading, or inaccurate information to NHTSA, Takata's customers, and to the public. Uh, this is a mess. NHTSA says that some Takata airbags deploy with excessive force, shattering the metal inflator and sending shrapnel flying into the vehicle. 14 vehicle manufacturers and as many as 24 million vehicles are now involved. Stephanie Erdman was injured when her Takata airbag exploded in 2013. Instant blindness on my right side, followed by gushing blood. It was terrifying. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to bleed out at first. Takata and vehicle manufacturers are struggling to make enough replacement airbags for the millions of vehicles already recalled. And NHTSA says tens of millions more vehicles with Takata airbags may still need to be recalled in the future. DeMarco Morgan for CBS This Morning, Saturday. To check if your car or truck is being recalled, you can find an updated list of all recalled vehicles on CBSNews.com.